I have to apologize. I thought I printed out the qualifying from Friday, and I printed out the qualifying from Thursday. So if you qualify on Friday, you're not on my list. I apologize. Is there anybody else who's running for City Council in Valdosta? Oops. Sorry, Linda. Apologize. Come on up. We got a couple more sign-up sheets. I'll pass around. Taught. 
And, and maybe they are being taught, but they just come to school and they think they don't need to do it anymore. Like, be respectful. Like, be silent and listen. I don't know. Um, but we need more for kids to do. Maybe thousands. I don't have children. I've been asking people what should we have for kids. Something. Something free. Let's give them entertainment. They need to do things. No. Oh my gosh. Okay, I have one yeah. minute left. Um, they, need jobs. they do, they need jobs, but they can't get jobs unless we go out and bring in people to build here and bring the money here. Although, if we do some kind of public transportation where people are earning money with their own vehicles, that's a job. There are just so many different ways, new ways of looking at the world. Who knows where this could go? Um, and. The mayor said something about eight penny or eight penny. We need to think about ways to keep students here. So many of our students and anyone who's at VSU or has a connection at VSU knows that our enrollment is down. We're losing students to uh, all different colleges in Georgia, mostly at Atlanta. They want to go somewhere where it's fun and they have things to do. So if we give them things to do besides, no offense, but flip-flops, uh, we might be able to keep some of those students here. So my three things that I want to do with Valdosta, public transportation, free things for kids, and give people a reason to stay here. Give people a reason to stay overnight when they come down for graduation. And again, my name is Linda Jerzak, can't pronounce my own name, and I am here to ask for your vote. Thank you.